So it's Thursday today. Oops, now I've got too much volume on the monitor. I can hear myself thinking. So we've got the Maitland M5. One of the viewers said um, he'd not seen anybody do a meaningful review on the M5. So here's a brand new Midland M5 in a sealed box. And we will dismantle it, service it, and put it back together. And we'll see if it's any good. Well, Walkie Talkie Wednesday went down well with that um, Kaiser 2 watt handheld, which is sold as a 4 watt handheld. And would you believe it? I found another one in a similar state box on the shelf. And so I serviced that earlier today. And that does about 50 milliwatts less. So absolutely fine. It was also commented that I forgot to set the frequency on it. And I didn't, but I forgot to record it. It was minutely low like they are. Okay, so we've got an instruction book. We've got the DAF stickers. I'm always more, I'm more interested in these range brochures. Yes. Do you remember being a kid and you go, got, got, not got, not got, 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 you know, on the football cards and things like that? Well, what we've got on here, which is CB, we've got the Allen 42 Multi. Well, we've got that, but we haven't done a video on it. We've got the Midland M20, but we haven't done a video on it. And that covers that. We're we'll bound to need the instruction book to be able to put it onto UK frequencies. Quick guide and slow guide. That's handy. So when it's in UK mode, what is it going to do? going to do oh I can't make a head and a tail of that hey folks look we get a self adhesive mic clip We get the cigar lighter plug, which seems to be the way things are going. And it's another one of these sets, which is, oh, it's, it's in the same small case with a quick release arrangement. I didn't say I could get it off quickly. There we have the mic, which, for those of you who have used Motorola business radios in the 1970s and early 80s, the big white mic, boing, real weight to it. You didn't want to drop that one in your lap, but you don't with this either. And reassuringly, reassuringly it says mic in that little tiny aperture, so that's going to be the speaker. We have a modular plug on the end. And then a thing. Oh, that can cover the USB thing. So it's got a USB charger port. So when that's plugged in like that, if you so wish, you can block off the USB Ooh. Okay. Pause the video, get the screwdriver. Just for a laugh, the screws are Torx T6. So that's what we've had to do. And hopefully, that lid will now pop off. And we do find it has a plug in speaker.
So what can I immediately see? So you've got the outputs, the aerial socket there, you've got the transmit filtering there, you've got the crystal filter in the receive, you've got the ceramic filter there for the um, 455 IF. Um, the reference crystal is going to be that one down there. There is a transistor there that's going to be a voltage regulator. I would expect the output transistors to be under under there somewhere. But will there be any adjustments? There are there is an adjustment, and you know what? They have very kindly labelled it. That is so good of them. This one here says FM mod. You've got three adjustments here. The end one says AM mod. That says 1W, so that's going to be a low power setting for countries where that is relevant. And they haven't stuck this gluey tarry stuff on it. We'd know what that one said. Scrape away a bit more of it. One W mod, so that's interesting. So this it's separate to the And it's separate to the normal power one. Can't uh, I can't decipher any further than that. Right, we'll get it powered up and put the meter on it. Right, we'll switch this on then for the first time. The power supply is on, we're on 13.8 volts. I wonder how we switch it on. There's a switch at the top and in the middle and it says power. And it comes on in CE mode. So this is where we get the instruction book and see what we have to do to make it come onto UK channels. Which book's that? Frequency band selection. Press F and then AF. 
confirm with the PTT. So, F, A, F, UK, confirm with the PTT. Well, that was straightforward, wasn't it? Right, let's see what it does. Oh, this mic is an unwieldy thick thing. It's heavier than the radio. So we are on. I'll start off on the thirty watt on on the three watt scale, so we should get full scale deflection. We do, but only just the four on the thirty watt scale. That's five watts, so that's four watts. And it's three. So. I wonder if the preset we can't see what it says is the high power uh, is the power adjustment for four watt setting. Yes, it is, and the maximum that will do is three and a half. So that's added, added power to that center preset so the next one will be deviation so we'll get the little oscillator switch it on go into transmit and let's see what that deviation is uh, 1.2 or something like that so that is FM Let's set that to two. Switch off the oscillator. While oh no, that's, that didn't work out. It's far too loud. Be transmitting on three channels at once. So we'll lower that. Let's try it there. Wallow. Wallow. That sounds about right. Just making it two and a half, which is what we want it to do. So now we'll have to reprogram it for a country where AM. I don't think it. I don't think it's going to do that. Let's have a look. So we're on UK FM, which is correct. I'll try and get that so you can see it. I'm just looking at the monitor. So now we're on. I'll just pop this to channel twenty again. So I'll just key up. I want twenty seven seven nine one two five still. So I'll press that again. What do you is it a long press? Yeah, twenty seven two oh five has now taken us into the CPT band. So I pressed it again, and that's still 27205. It seems to be, it's a, it's a long press. Yeah, it now says UK. Yep, 79125, a long press. And it now says CE and it's 27205. Unfortunately, it doesn't switch to AM, which we would, are entitled to. So, we have to now cheat all this. You know, new set, current model. I just wish that all manufacturers would have these set up so that they, they do what we're supposed to do in the UK. So, what do we set it to to get? To be honest, I can't make head and the tail of the way they've set this out.
Could we set it to I.O. or something? I don't get this. It's a function. We oh, don't know what that does done. So we'll just move these UK Poland I.O. it seems to be so I'll confirm that. And we're in FM and now we're in AM. So we want channel twenty. And it's doing twenty seven two oh five. And we need to do the AM mod, so we'll switch this now to AM. And now we'll do that same test again with the little oscillator. And all we're getting is Well, it's about where we need to be but just for the demonstration I'll adjust what we know to be AM mod which is the one at the end there and it has just done absolutely nothing so is it that one and it'll dare we check that one It was the first one I'm looking at. There we go. So now we need to go into a country where they have a 1 watt mode to reset all the 1 watt things. So it looks like we need to be on the EU setting. Function AF. So we'll move that to EU. Move it to channel 20 and switch it to, so we've got four watts on, well, more or less four watts on AM, on FM. Switch it to AM low, that's what we want. Yeah, we go. So we'll set that for one watt because I've now messed it up and it's only doing, we're on, the th on this scale here, so that's. Three to it wants to come up to there at the moment, it's doing 550 milliwatts. So that preset is the one watt adjustment. There we go, and then, yep, and then the modulation for that is separate so key up again look at it on the meter yeah it is and I'll set that to 70% there we are everything that can be set is now set so I'll switch it back to UK. I will recap on what these are. So that's everything. All but one were labelled, and that was the it turned out to be the, the power anyway. So we'll pop that off and we'll switch it back to UK. I can now zoom out a bit. See the mic a bit easier. So function AF, and we want to go back to UK press the PTT which locks it in and there we go channel 20 and Okay, so now we need to do the receiver. There's nothing I can adjust to, I'll just tell you how good it is. So 
So we'll set the signal generator for 2779125. We'll turn the volume up. Put that to the external speaker. So we've got an S9 signal now. And it says, you can see the bar graph, it's up there. So that's where you'd expect it to be. It's not adjustable, that's how it is. Just slide that frequency here. I'm just going to adjust it. And I'll switch off the sun ad meter and oscilloscope because we don't need either. So we'll now drop the attenuator. So that's 100 microvolts, 30 microvolts, 10 microvolts, 3 microvolts. The squelch has come in. So we need to release the squelch. And without, ah, is that what you do? Yep. Let's turn it down to one. So it's three microvolts, one microvolt, 0 0.3 of a microvolt, and it cuts off. So, using the fine attenuator. It's cutting off at 0.49 of a microvolt, so just under half a microvolt. And it's coming back in at 0.7 of a microvolt. So that is the lowest squelch possible. And that should be alright. So I'll leave it there at 1. And let's look at it on its strongest. Again, this isn't adjustable, so squelch. We'll see what goes to as a maximum. Oh, I'm on the wrong buttons, aren't I? Squelch. It's actually it's actually wrapped around. So twenty eight's the highest, and let's see how high that is. So ten microvolts, thirty microvolts. You can see the signal meter, 100 microvolts is S9, 300 microvolts, 1 uh, millivolt, 3 millivolts. So it does come in at some point, it comes in at plus 30. So that's fair enough, but there's nothing you do about it anyway. And this looks like RF gain by the, by the looks of this. So let's see what that does. I'll let's set, we'll set the squelch back to 1, and now we know we can do that. Oh, let's look at overall sensitivity. And I'll tell you the sign I'm reading. And I'll turn the volume down. It's coming through both speakers, which is annoying. It's coming through my extension speaker, which is plugged in. It's coming through the handset speaker. Because normally, you plug that in, it cuts out the speaker. Well, it doesn't on this set. So, let's have a look at this. I'll put the camera onto the cyanide meter so that you can see what I'm talking about. So let's see how what the lowest we can hear is. So we can hear it right down to 0 0.1 of a microvolt, which is fine. So the 12 decibel cyanide, which you can see on the meter, the radio is 0 0.26 of a microvolt, which is superb. 
and then for 10 decibel cyanide, which is your other standard figure, it's 0.215 of a microvolt. So that's where we are with it. So the receive's excellent. Let's put that squelch back on. The trouble is this radio is too loud. If I have it on volume setting one, which is here, let's put the signal generator back on. That one is too loud. I wouldn't normally have the volume on this high. And it soon mounts up. And then it's all, it, zero is off, so it, it's annoying. So RF, I presume this is RF gain without looking at the instruction book. And that's off at the moment. So it's, so it's done with these buttons. Yeah, it is. Yep, yeah, that really attenuated me. So we'll put that back to normal. Zero. Wait for that to happen. Yep, yeah, there we go. And then we've got a EMG, which expects emergency. Nine or nineteen. And scan. So we'll put a signal on on channel 20 and I've put the signal on at about S4. There we go. And I'll take that signal off again. Yep, so there you go. It does what you expect it to do. But I think that's a faff. It's not my cup of tea. But the radio works all right. And we managed to get 3.6 watts out of it which is about where we are these days with modern sets. But this is 3.6 watts into a commercial test set. If you put that on a CB type power meter, that probably reads four and a half or five, you know. So, you know, it, it is four watts. It's, it's as near as damage and it doesn't matter anyway. It makes no difference. But at least we've set it to the best of what it will do. So I'll put it back together. We'll just pop it on the aerial. Okay, so we've now got it on the aerial. Let's go into scan. Let's not go into scan. One. Back on. There are frequency. Nineteen Roger. Now, did you notice there? I was pressing the channel button and it was not responding, but it was in scan. So it doesn't let you override it. I can't turn the volume down. It's got a speaker inside. That one is muted by the, the plugging of an extension speed here. That one stays on forever. Um, see if Mr. Chippy's out there. He sometimes is. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you copy? No. Well, we'll be doing an on-the-air test in due course. And um, now, so what do I think about it? Well, I mean, the receiver works all right. You've got all this faff, haven't you, between the um, going into the different menus and things it doesn't it doesn't have auto squelch or a preset squelch you know it's a matter of this and then and then changing it it does have instant mute um, it does three and a half watts wow it's not programmed so that we can use AM on CPT shells here in the UK which we're entitled to do and and supposedly all sets after 2014 should be capable of doing that and this is a current model and it doesn't do that so you've got to you've got to program it for a country you're not in to kind of swindle the system to let you do that um, I didn't like that so how quick does it go into transmit I'll press transmit and 
I'll switch the test set off, so that really helps me. I'll press transmit. takes half a second like a lot of modern sets do it's too much of a faff the leads too heavy the microphone heads too heavy and I did the CRT uh, mic about 10 days ago and I prefer that uh, we've got a polymer Venus somewhere but I've lost it um, I, I forgot to put in the computer its stock location and um, I, I don't know which shelf to look on so one day we'll come across that and we'll do it but my friend Mark zx 2 has bought one of those and put it in his Nissan um, Duke so he seems to be pleased with that so we'll have to take Mark's apart if I can't find mine when he visits after this lockdown ends so there you have it I mean it's competent enough to receive it's going to transmit all right we were able to turn things up where we needed them to be didn't quite get the four watts and it's a fact to work. So there you have it, the Midland M5.